Nutrition in liver care during pregnancy Introduction Pregnancy can directly affect the physiology of the liver or hepatic disorders can adversely affect pregnancy outcomes. It has been estimated that approximately 3% of pregnant women in developing countries are affected by some form of liver disease during their pregnancy. Furthermore, some of these conditions can be fatal for both the mother and fetus. Liver diseases in pregnancy can be related to a pre-existing condition, such as autoimmune liver disease or rise as a consequence of pregnancy. The major five pregnancy-related liver disorders are Acute Fatty Liver of Pregnancy AFLP, HELLP Syndrome, Hemolysis, Elevated Liver Enzymes and Low Platelets Preeclamptic Liver Dysfunction Intrahepatic Cholestasis of Pregnancy ICP, Hyperemesis Gravidarum HG Nutrition and Liver Health in Pregnancy Several studies have shown that an improper diet and protein deficiency during pregnancy can lead to or contribute to acute fatty liver pregnancy. A 2020 study showed that a low-protein diet alters peroxisomal mitochondrial and gut microbiota function. This study also showed that a lower intake of branched-chain amino acids and methionine alters the gut microbiota. This in turn affected the release of end product nutrients into the periportal blood supply that drains into the liver, leading to metabolic changes in the liver peroxisomal function and subsequent gene expression. Moreover, protein deficiency also prevents the expression of PPAR alpha, which upregulates lipid synthesis in the liver, resulting in lipid accumulation and fatty liver. Hyperemesis gravidarum and nutrition. Hyperemesis gravidarum or pernicious vomiting of pregnancy is a complication of pregnancy observed in the first trimester. Nausea and vomiting are common in pregnancy, affecting up to 70 to 85% of pregnant women. Hyperemesis affects between 0.3% and 2.3% of all pregnancies. Hyperemesis gravidarum can persist throughout pregnancy, causing malnutrition, dehydration, electrolyte imbalance and unintended weight loss, requiring hospital admission in most cases. Furthermore, babies born to mothers battling hyperemesis have various obstacles to overcome before becoming healthy. The infants of mothers with hyperemesis may be born prematurely, be small for gestational age, have significantly lower birth weights or have 5-minute APGAR scores of less than 7.8. A study has shown that a higher intake of fats, especially saturated fat, has been reported in women who have developed hyperemesis. Similarly, several studies have suggested that antioxidants, vitamins and fatty acid peroxidation deficiency can cause hyperemesis gravidarum. Hence, in most cases of hyperemesis gravidarum, intravenous rehydration and multivitamin infusion combined with antimetic medication is the first treatment of choice. Importance of proper diet in pregnancy Proper nutrition during pregnancy is crucial for the mother's and growing baby's health and development. A well-balanced and nutrient-rich diet is essential to support the increased energy demands, promote healthy fetal growth and prevent pregnancy-related complications. A study has shown that adding allium vegetables such as garlic, onions and shallots and drinking moderate amounts of water reduce the risk of hyperemesis development. Additionally, allium vegetables have traditionally been shown for their antibacterial and fungicidal properties. In the same study, it was also observed that higher fish and seafood consumption had a protective effect on preeclampsia and preterm birth, which was attributed to long-chain N3 fatty acids. Moreover, a high fish intake also indicates a healthier general dietary pattern. 